we're just starting to dig into some of the most interesting questions. And as a technologist in the public interest space, I think the discussions around trying to tighten up the feedback loop to those creating the technologies to think about these outcomes, uh, to think about, about how those policy implications will play out non-locally. And, and this cuts the other way too. A large part of what I do in my work is, is to defend uh, human rights online. And that's equally fraught for uh, the risks that those trying to, to speak freely in, in uh, contentious and, and crisis regime space. And uh, you feel that weight as technologists there. So I mean, setting aside the, the loaded question of, of lawful intercept and, and just looking at how you enable uh, something maybe we all can a bit, uh, agree on a bit more, like the uh, UN uh, Declaration of Human Rights uh, and access to knowledge and access to free speech, that that's still challenging, where, where there's a, a positive outcome and a, and a policy that we maybe all are uh, have a stronger consensus around exporting that, that that's still uh, very challenging for technologists on the ground to make the right choices. And, and I go back to what I said about how an open system fails in a way when we're working with it that we can gather key information and we can audit those outcomes and make sure that we're moving in the right direction rather than uh, failing and not having a good idea of how, how to improve upon what's happening.